Are we at the, uh, at the Neshamini Mall, Ben Salem, PA? This is a mall that used to be our local mall. And we like to just check up on it from time to time, you know, every once, a couple times a year, maybe. I'm not going to promise anything super exciting or revolutionary, but let's go check it out. Why not? You want revolutionary, you go to the Franklin Mills. Of course, it's a revolutionary idea, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is one of the dumbest things I've seen at malls lately. You know, it takes a lot more ink to make this QR code than it would to just print the damn hours. Not to mention they used to have the hours posted, but they had to go and take them down and replace it with this stupid QR code. That's so dumb. Insert an extra step into the process. Right? That's, yeah, it's, she's. I pull my phone out, scan the damn code, and go to their website and hope their website doesn't suck. But yeah, this mall's dying out. Hey, I really hate to say that. I did a count the last time we were here a couple weeks ago. What was it, I think 51%? Yeah, I had exactly figures Yeah, it was like basically half full. <clears throat> and this court, the Boscov's court, used to be a lot nicer. Had all these earth tones and it was a big slanted mirror right there where it says Boscov's. A big slanted mirror right there. But a few years ago they decided to swap it out for this marble white. This is the first Boscov's I ever set foot in. Oh really? Yeah. That's the Boscov's babe you're hearing right there. <laughs> She's been to every boss cause except for the one in Niles, Ohio. I do believe that was a Pomeroy's beforehand. And before that, it was a Lit Brothers. But this was the, ex the, uh, the extension, this hallway. The mall used to end at Strawbridge's. And then they put this in like two years afterwards. Or I think maybe five years afterwards. It was late 70s. Yeah. yeah, they closed the friendlies a while back. I know a lot of people in the area were kind of bummed about that. Yeah, I think friendlies is almost all but done in this area, isn't it? There's a handful of them, but I don't think they're going to last too long. I gotta say, the owners of this mall really put a number on it, making it so damn white. This used to be a nice earth tone mall. Hell, you could smoke in it all the way up until the end of the 90s. And you could definitely tell by the colors on the wall. <laughs> but we got a little security guards up action up here, so I'm just gonna drop the camera real quick, just in case. I don't think they care, but. Be right back. You know, better safe than sorry, you know? I don't know why they got the yellow uniform people now. They used to have the guys in the ranger heads. Remember that? Yeah, I do, actually. And this is the same company. They're both allied. I wonder if there's a different pricing tier for the Ranger security guards. <laughs> and here we got Center Court. Oh, it's Center Court now. It used to be the end of them all. There's a closed Macy's. Formerly Strawbridge and Clothier. Very Philly town kind of a company. They were, they were formed downtown and they've been defunct now for, uh, since 2006, I think. Over here, used to have these animated dioramas depicting the founding of our country. Now, they have hopes to redevelop this area of the mall. So they removed a couple of them. 
Well, four. Three of them are still left. They're not animated anymore. They have not been in several years. I think at the end of one of our previous Nishamini Mall videos, you get to see all of them. Yeah, the upstairs area there, that was the Strawbridge and Clothier restaurant. A nice classic old place from all the pictures I've seen. I'm pretty sure I was there once or twice when I was a kid, but you don't remember that stuff, you know? But yeah, you see that up there? The hands are no longer there, but a big, big old clock right in the wall with Roman numerals. That's classy, isn't it? I wish that clock still worked. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know if you can see the globe lights up there on the uh, second floor where the restaurant was. The, the restaurant's pretty much intact. They just aren't there anymore, that's all. Now they, in my personal opinion, have a really stupid idea going on here. They put this, they put this wall up and it makes it look like, you know, from a distance that there's still a department, oh, an open department store there. And you get right up on top of it, you realize it's not. Now, here's one of the saddest portions of the mall right now. This is the Nishamini Indian Fountain. This used to be the crown jewel of this mall. You would have water running all down here. You can see that they filled it in with, I don't even know what that stuff is. Some kind of mesh, I don't know. And then down there, you can see there's a wood chips down there. But it used to be all flowing with water and it had a real out, out, so outside kind of a feel, you know what I mean? I don't even know what that blue stuff is, that's weird. No, that's just brand new. I have not seen the blue stuff either. It's supposed to kind of make it look like water. Oh, that's what they're after. That's lame. You know, that, that's probably it. They probably put the blue stuff in there making it kind of look like water from a distance. I mean, why not just put the water back, damn it? I can't help but pay it up at the restaurant. That's just cool. You know, if you're gonna shut the fountain off, this fountain's been off for over a year. You really should take this sign out. Because it's like, not very applicable anymore. You see that? They still have this, they have still have a sign over here. You look at this. Please enjoy our natural fountain setting. <laughs> Take the sign out already. I, I, that's, that's what I think too. From a distance, it looks like water, you know? Alright. Moving on. You gotta love the name of this store Steals and Deals. Sounds like something you see on uh, CBS Sunday morning or something. But it occurs to me that that place, you know, I think this is the first time we've ever seen it actually open. <laughs> oh, it is open, no. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. I think that's because we got here a little early. Slightly earlier than our usual time, Peter. 
yeah, the company that owns this mall is Brookfield. They used to be called GGP. But I think GGP got bought out by this other company. And they put these they put these little things up in front of the empty inlines. It's trying to be real hip, you know? But that's not good having another like two, three, four vacancies in a row. is most reminiscent of what the place used to look like back in the day. Oh, yeah. Big open spaces. Yeah, but I love those windows they have up there. Yeah, right, right there. It's like the planners and stuff. I'm not positive, but I think that used to be Woolworth over there. Where you got the clothes, Hollister? Yeah. We'll come back and take a look at the food court. Oh, I don't know. Let's get some blow through right now. Why not? I think it's a classy food court. Come to one of my favorite Chinese food places over here. Steve. Stir, stir Fry 88. If you're ever in the area, I highly recommend. But as with everything, there used to be a bunch of stuff over here that's just not anymore, you know? I'm annoyed that they closed down the newsstand over there. That was been there for like 30 years. Another victim of the Rona. I can't think of what was here next to the Chick fil A. Exactly remember either. I get the feeling it was it was going to be that gyro place, but they never moved in. That looks looks like the vaccine place is done for, unless it's just open in the daytime. Oh yeah, they just have it open in the daytime. It's not a very big mall. We're over halfway done already. But you see these got these gigantic spaces here, these big junior anchor spots that are sitting empty. It looks like they walled off a bunch of stuff. That doesn't sound like that. I mean, it sounds more like a whole thing to do. You see this spot here? Oh, yeah, that's completely walled up. Yeah. They, they just up and threw a wall up. Hey, that doesn't count now, right, does it? Brings your numbers up. It's a very strange thing right there, though. The Philly pop-up weddings. What, do you have your wedding in the mall? That's <laughs> what it looks like, doesn't it? <laughs> They got a bunch of fancy stuff in there. Probably, they probably make it look all fancy even though you're at the mall. Wish that had been a thing 10 years ago. <laughs> Get married at the mall. I wouldn't mind that, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. They're getting set up for the bunny. Check it out. Oh, that's right. It's going to be Easter pretty soon. Yeah. Getting it all set up for the bunny. Look at this. When is Easter this year? Oh, I looked it up a few weeks ago, but I don't remember actually. Isn't it like a certain amount of time past Ash Wednesday? Yeah. 
Because that was a, that was like eight days ago. Yeah, Easter is April seventeenth this year. Okay. And of course, anyone who's familiar with malls and department stores will know what this was up here. That unmistakable Sears design. You know, one of the very, 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 very first videos on our channel, I'm talking of going way back, has me walking around this little area here. They set up a bunch of scaffolding and whatnot, and I, I, I made a prediction. I'm like, you just watch, this Sears is going away. And there it is, gone. You know, it's kind of a shame they got this big display up because it's a great view going down that, that hallway right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a good old fashioned FYE here. It's got neon in there. You know, and it's, well, not anymore. They don't have a lot of CDs anymore, but it used to be one of those old. Outside today. Well, yeah, they just, I'll have to include a picture in the slideshow with that in it. Yeah, I, I didn't even notice the outside neon's not on. Usually, just to the, just to either side there, you can even see the tubes there. It has the same blue neon that you see in the store. Yeah. Walking this mall today and seeing how absolutely white it is, well, except the cool, the cool patterns on the floors. It's just, I don't know. It kind of makes me feel a little wistful for the old days. We got a little, another security sighting up here, so I'm gonna, just gonna drop the camera. I'll be right back. Like I said, better safe than sorry. You can you can totally see how you got an entire wall here of nothing on both sides. It's like everything down this end is closed. Well, except for the arcade. I mean, it's not the original timeout. They just co-opted the name. And it's kind of lame and unattended. Even the escape room is not open. Although I think that may have been closed for some time. The help wanted sign lets you know the tale. You got the, you get the skeleton just hanging out in the corner. This guy seems better, better days. Look at him. He's done. He's done. He's had it. <laughs> I like the way that skylight looks with those particular lights. Once upon a time, this is the best movie theater in the area. They were one of the first to get those airplane seats, whatever they called them. The graduated seating.
But that's it. It's in the Chamonix Mall. It's not doing as good as it used to, but it's still not terrible. You know what I mean? This is by way of putting an update in the books for March of 2022. Yeah, we just want to keep tabs. A lot, a lot of people miss. Oh, look at that, the Cold Stone. It's not open. But you know, like I was saying, a lot of people miss a lot of cool things in malls because they wait until it dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. People who have been waiting, they'll never see the fountain at Willow Grove Park Mall ever again. Or even for the first time. Yeah. And they'll never see the Nishamini Fountain when it still had real water flowing. Yeah. And it's like, they'll never see the operational fountains at the Concord Mall in Delaware. Yeah, There's a lot of things that you miss if you... There's only one out of three of those yeah. that's still functioning now. There's a lot of things that you miss when you're a vulture. Yeah. Don't be a vulture. Go to your malls often and keep tabs. Keep a visual record of your malls. Because being a vulture gets you one video and that's it. And you'll never see any of the cool stuff in your video. That's it. My rant's over. Triple R over now. Yeah, on behalf of Triple R, this is Heather, and just like to say thank you for watching and thank you for all the views and support over the years. You guys don't know how much it means. Have a great one, everyone.